the NFL moment, isn't it? The one that you actually like. A lot of times it's that big hit from a linebacker. They says, all right, Rook, here you are. But when you're able to put it in the end zone and feel that sense of accomplishment, that usually fuels you towards doing it many more times in your career. Prater to kick off for Detroit. And after the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. Fielded near the back of the end zone. And Patterson will not return it. It comes out to the 25. 25 yards. Chicago works their way back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency. Move the ball at least a few times on offense. Get a couple of first downs and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. To Montgomery to begin the drive. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Credit to tackle that time to Deshaun Hand. And he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom. Quick, quick, quick. And what a terrific play. Holding him to no gain. The throw over the middle, taken in. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. The catch and run, good for 24 yards. 24-yard gain. On well, that the certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. It's a pickup of six. Brings up second and four at the 44-yard line. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. A play fake to Montgomery. Now Trubisky. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. And he finds Jimmy Graham. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions' 32-yard line. First catch of the new season for him, and he picks up the first. First down. After one, 7 nothing on EA Sports. Lions 7, Bears nothing. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Out of the gun, Trubisky gets this to his running back, Tariq Cohen. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. I would think that by now people are done underestimating Tariq Cohen because of his stature when they see him at about 5'6", five, 5'7". Five, but he can do it all. He can run inside, run to the perimeter, but he also catches the ball really well in the backfield. He had more receptions than carries last season. It kind of looks like Darren Sproles, who's been his inspiration as an NFL player. In 2018, Tariq Cohen was a pro bowler as well. Nice gain there by the second-year runner out of Iowa State, David Montgomery, who often finishes his runs moving forward and knocking defenders back. He finished tied with Josh Jacobs for the most carries by a rookie. And he will fight his way in, not giving up there, and he's got a Bears touchdown. Taking it in from four yards out, and the Bears are an extra point away from tying the football game. We well, got a little bit of everything on that run. Offensive line creating some space, but how about the guy running behind his pads into the end zone? What does that mean when a guy says running behind his pad? It means that he's going to be a physical runner. That way he's able to use his shoulder pads, his forearms, anything to ward off people to power his way forward. Eddie, Eddie Pinheiro now for the extra point. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. So that one, an eight-play drive. It spans 75 yards. And it was David Montgomery's touchdown run that polished it all off. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. 
Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. The Lions take over first and 10 at their own 20. Kenny Galladay and the Lions set to go to work again. Setting to throw on first down is Tua. Caught on the right side by Jones. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Marvin Jones. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Up at the 29 now. They'll head to the line. Second and a yard. Here's a toss play right to Swift. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. A gain of just a yard, but it's a first down. They show run with three tight ends here on first down. First down, and they go with Swift again. He takes this from the 30 to the 34. Now, after the running play, we've got a man down on the field. Huh, hate to see this. Week one of the season. We'll be back. Line of scrimmage, the 24. This is second and six. Here's Tonga Bailoa to throw. That's complete to DeAndre Swift out of the backfield. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Rookie quarterback, rookie running back. They team up there to pick up the first. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and 10. out of the gun with Swift. And nowhere really to go there. He'll take this up just shy of midfield. Ball carrier. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. A gain of a yard. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you've got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean or else they just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. He's going to take off with it. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line. Tackled there. Good work on the scamper by Tonga Bailoa. It's a first down. Some early fireworks from this rookie quarterback getting the start in week one. And every time a rookie quarterback gets to start week one, you and I both know the extra attention that comes with it. We know that he's going to throw the football, but will he make the right decisions? And in this case with his legs, he showed the defense there's an extra dynamic to his game. We've hit the two-minute mark of the first half. All knotted up at seven. At the 40-yard line. We remind you that coming up in two minutes, we'll again head down to visit with Jonathan Coachman in Orlando back for another year. He'll have scores from around the NFL here on this opening weekend. And that one goes incomplete. He's maybe lucky it wasn't a fumble as he got hit as he threw it. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. Throwing his tongue of Iloa on third down here. Going down the middle, it's complete. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears' 19. The 21 yards there as they convert on third. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. And they're going to get He's sacked back around the 28. The sack there by Roquan Smith. Tackled back at the 20. And it's never good to take a sack. You really don't want to take one down here in this part of the field down near the red zone. Not at all because you're already pretty much assured of a field goal. But you take a big sack, it could push you out of range. And that's why defenses get a little more aggressive in this situation. They're almost conceding the three points. They're going to push you back and try and take you out of that. No, he doesn't have it. Maybe some alligator arms there going over the middle. Third down. It's now third. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Throwing now is Chugga by Lowell. They'll find Swift out of the backfield. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts. 
as he'll stop it with exactly a minute to go before halftime. So on fourth down, the Lions turn it over to Matt Prater for the field goal try. From the right hash, it's a 41-yard attempt. And the 13-year man puts it through, and the Lions are going to take a 3-0 lead. Lions 10, Bears 7. So they get three, certainly hoping for six after a 13-play drive. So you console yourself on defense by saying you did your job, right? If they go 13 plays, you only give up a field goal. You did a nice job there. But here's the other part. 13 plays, you don't force any mistakes. You don't take the ball away. Maybe that's the way that you look at it. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. At their own 34-yard line. We remind you, lots more to come here in this opening weekend of the Return to Football 2020. Coming up later tonight, it's the national debut of SoFi Stadium in Southern California. The Cowboys and the Rams doing battle there. And then two more to finish off the week on Monday Night Football. The Steelers and Giants from MetLife Stadium and the Titans and Broncos from Mile High. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. From midfield now, here's Trubisky. That's complete to the Memphis man, Anthony Miller. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Now it's Trubisky. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Well, the incompletion, yes, but maybe here not the worst thing in the world? No, not on first and ten. It actually gives them a chance to regroup, relax just a little bit. They huddle up, talk it over. Then they get a chance to continue their drive. Second and ten now. It's Trubisky. That is caught by Cohen. And he'll be marked down at the 26 with a gain of seven. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. A second down completion got him seven. Now here's third and three. Detroit is up for the challenge through the air. They force a fourth down. Intended for Jimmy Graham. Incomplete. Eddie Pinheiro on now for the Bears. On the right hash, it's a 43-yard attempt. The kick by Pinheiro is good. And that will knock things up here late in the first half. So they're able to make things level just before half and also leave very, very little time on the clock. And I love the way that you phrased that. Brought a little soccer into it. And that's really apropos considering they just kicked a field goal to tie things up. So we've reached halftime here on opening weekend. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome back to football, everybody. We've got a full slate of 16 games here to start the new season. So let's take our first trip around the NFL. We'll start up in the Twin Cities. Minnesota playing host to NFC North rival Green Bay. And it's the Packers who are out in front in the second quarter. Devin Funches, a touchdown reception. From there, we head down south to Atlanta. To check on the Falcons at home at Mercedes-Benz Stadium. And at halftime, they trail the visiting Seahawks in that ball game. Two touchdown passes there for Russell Wilson. Lastly, let's check on one final game for you. And they currently trail the visiting Philadelphia Eagles. Carson Wentz has thrown a couple of touchdown passes there. Meanwhile, in our game, it's been as tight as we expected. All tied through one half of play. For the call of the second half, let's get it back to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Matt Prater to kick off for Detroit. But we'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. 
fielded near the back of the end zone. And Patterson will not return it. It comes out to the 25. So here's the Bears offense now as they get set to start this third quarter. They have a chance to break our tie here as we get a look at the first drive of quarter three. And it's such a tone setter, isn't it? Because both sides trying to seize momentum to begin the half. What do they have dialed up that will give them an advantage to move the ball downfield? Let's find out what they have dialed up. And they'll work from the 29 on second and six. At the 29, they try again with Cohen. And some room to run now. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Now we're going to get a stoppage. There appears to be an injured bear on the field. Huh, hate to see this. Week one of the season. We'll be back. Here's the run to Montgomery. And give him about five as he gets this up to the 48-yard line. That's a really good gain right there. They pick up five yards halfway to a first down. The only problem now in the huddle, everyone's going to want to touch the football. Be a lot of chatter right now because they've seen that they can move the line of scrimmage. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. So the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 46. Now Trubisky. Stepping up, he'll try and run. Give him a couple on the scramble. It's second down. How about a tip of the cap to the defense? They're working against a very mobile quarterback, but all day long they've kept him under wraps. And on that play, they held him to a short gain. They'll run on second down with Cohen. Give him three on the run there. Now they're looking at a third and about five. Brought down by Trey Flowers. A three-yard gain on the play. Brings up third down. From the gun on third down, it's Trubisky. And able to find Graham, complete. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions 23. A good pickup, 17 yards and a bare first down. They'll throw on first down with Trubisky. And he completes it to Cohen. And out of bounds right around the 20. They'll contain him to just four, second down. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it can turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal game. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. I think a lot of people ask the same question all the time. Why do we see so many slants in the red zone? Well, the windows are tighter. Everything's more condensed. It has to be quicker, and you've got to deliver the ball on time. Your biggest worry, ball gets tipped in the air, because if that happens, then it's fair game for the defense. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Looking to throw again, Trubisky. Got a man, it's Patterson complete. That catch good for only a couple. Complete. People worry about throwing the out route because often it can get jumped and that can turn into an either an incompletion or an interception. But not on that one. Everything came together and he catches it and goes over the sideline. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. Throwing once more, it's Trubisky. And a little floater there incomplete a lot of times it's that first read that you have maybe you get it in pre-snap he locked in on his target but he was covered quite well and that one's incomplete a field goal would get him the lead but that's not what they're shooting for as they come up on third down Detroit was up for the challenge through the air they force a fourth down incomplete well, it's been a tough go for them. These guys have been driving down the field, but defensively, once they got their backs to the goal line, turned up the pressure, that's going to lead to a fourth down. Well played. Field, 
So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. A 28-yard attempt. This is up and good from Pinheiro. And it's 3-0. The Bears hit the scoreboard first. Lions 10. Well, they don't get a touchdown here on the opening drive of the third quarter, but I think maybe you still say mission accomplished as they come away with the lead. No, absolutely. You keep the pressure on, right? You go downfield, get some points up on the board, and hope that you motivated your defense to take the field and hold that lead. The Lions take over first and 10 at their own 20. So we get a look at the Lions offense as they get ready for their first possession of the second half. They trail offense first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. It's been clear in this matchup which side has been the more physical one. It's been this defense. And here's another example on that last play. Second and ten, third quarter of the season opener. Looking to pass to him. Incomplete, almost intercepted. They haven't picked him off yet. Would have been a great time for the first, but instead it's third down. Brings up a third So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Now Tua. Looking downfield for Jones. Oh, can't hang on to it. Almost intercepted. They would have loved the first pick of the game there, but at least it does get them to fourth down. Sets up fourth down. But you got to think that sooner or later, they're going to hit one of those, but the coverage has been excellent thus far, and it was again on the last play.